Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And we are about to save uh, Biku's brother from the Maelstromers. But first, we're going to do a little bit more reading. Whoops. Making good progress on this. Uh, let's go information for new family members of the Revere Courier Services family. Fellow employees, welcome to the family at Revere Courier Services. That's right, family. That's not a word we use lightly here. We're here for each other. We're not afraid to speak our minds. No matter what, we stick together. RCS wouldn't be what it is today without this unbreakable bond. We're one of the best and most innovative employers in Night City. We value flexibility, ambition, creativity, and the ability to work under pressure. Combat experience is a plus. Don't forget, all our employees receive training and the chance to develop their skills. Don't miss this opportunity. Important. As a driver, you'll be responsible not only for delivering goods at their destination, but also the safety and condition of the cargo. Loss or damage of the goods may result in a financial penalty. Before you begin your journey, always check your weapon. Boy, that sounds like a crazy dangerous job in this city. And then what else do we got? Um, let's clear some of these, these technology ones. Yeah. Pain editors and mortality rates. Introduction. The implant widely known as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City, the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group that Zetatech conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural coprocessor that inhibits the signals sent from nociceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Note, some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypoesthe hypoesthesia, including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. That's high. In this report, I address the question of how to better protect Zetatec clients from avoidable death while using our pain editors. Yeah, you need pain, despite how terrible it is, to tell you that something is wrong. And if you take that away, you know, there are people that are born with, like, um, a brain difference where they can't feel pain, and they end up having a lot of health problems because of that, because you don't notice things like, um, let's say, sitting on your leg. And then uh, you don't notice it's hurting and you're cutting off the blood circulation to it. And then you end up with, like, problems from that. Like, it's crazy. Anyway. Relive it. Braindance Quarterly. Guest Editorial. Braindance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived experience and technological experiential purity. The more heavily processed the material, the more abstracted the pathways, the clearer the braindance recording. These fundamental elements of design have guided editors since the first wave of brain-to-brain -brain experience sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over naturalism over the years, even going so far to use it as a point of pride in the quality of their production. But in the industry's latest push for greater purity, has the purpose of the technology already been forgotten? Will we not find ourselves processing and filtering a brain dance recording to the point that the emotional experience no longer extends beyond what we receive from film, television, and video games? After reliving some of the latest titles in my feeder unit, this once academic question now feels all too inevitable with the industry's current trajectory. For a moment, let's consider why some reports suggest more and more users are searching for unlicensed titles in the black market. So-called black brain dances, extreme brain dances, or XBDs. Are we so sure it's the illicit content they are after? Or maybe the real draw is the residual grit we editors try so hard to remove. Distracting thoughts, irrelevant memories, loose associative threads, emotions stretching beyond the desired spectrum. What if this noise is not so su surpo <laughs> superfluous as we believe it to be? What if these peripheral experiences hold the potential to elevate a good brain dance to an exquisite one? We do ourselves a disservice by not exploring these questions before our blind crusade for brain dance purity leads this industry straight into the bin of obsolete flash in the pan technology. That's interesting. I I don't know how far I am into the main story, but I kind of wish that uh, brain dances played a more prominent role thus far. Okay. It's like... Um, sure, let's do it. 
And one C, B, D, one C. And I just have to get to one C. All right, that will deactivate all the cameras because I can't see where cameras would be from here. And I'm hoping he'll turn his back more. Chubs, chubs, listen. What if instead of an arm, we chipped him with iron? Every time he does. Alright, let's hide this body. <laughs> and we'll just dump him out back here. I don't think anybody's gonna come this way. You stole my fucking joke. Please! Dama has brought me peace. Do not deprive me of it. Open your flap again and I'll rip your tongue out. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. All right. So let's see what we can see from here. I think I see a camera up above me. Oh. Um, so let's go ahead and try... Initiate overload, huh? Alright, let's do it. Fuck me! What is it now? Let's breach again. Man, are they listening to death metal? That's real cool. <laughs> Waste of time. Call off the search. All right. Um, let's distract over here. I got seen by something over this way. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to see what's looking that way. Ah, okay. So I can take this person out. And then lastly, this guy. Do not do this! Invitations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them. It's okay, you're safe. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So what are you doing? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There the crouch button and the skip conversation button is the same thing, and I always want to like get up during conversations. It's kind of the worst. First I want to make sure you're right, okay. I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Your brother sent me. I was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Nah, the truth your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have saw. You have committed evil in its purest form. <laughs> I liked your brother more. Oh yeah, I was supposed to maybe not kill everyone. Let's ask how he got taken. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Night City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. 
My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Yeah, so I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. All right, your brother's waiting for you. I don't want to say either of these because he doesn't want to thank me because I murdered all those dudes. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Gannic ass, too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this. All right, let's get up. I want to turn off this radio. It's been bugging me. All right. So he says there's some sweet gear in the area. Let's try and find that. Is this anything? Explosive microwave, you say. Interesting. That would have been a cool way in. Either way, though, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I managed to stealth the whole thing. Um, but I should have done the uh, non-lethal takedowns to make the monks happy, just to kind of see what that would have done. Now, he says there's sweet gear laying around, but I'm not really finding anything yet. Decent amount of money, though. And what do we have here? Tinnitus, music, review, and attempt. Let's give that a read. Right, so I've never had a problem like this before. I learned members of the Maelstrom gang perceive the music from their fave brand Tinnitus differently than the average listener. Those crazy uberchrome motherfuckers describe these tunes with terms like complexity, range, and depth of sound. Ahem, those aren't quite the words I would use. Music can contain noise, but in this case, the noise does not contain music. I don't know, that's the best I can describe it. Now, I've got two leading theories on this. Theory number one. Since tinnitus only plays at Totentans, the acoustics could be the cause. Problem. Maelstrom's a group of hyper-violent psycho scumbags. I'm not going to rust my good rep by jamming out at one of their live shows. How can I confirm my theory if I don't go check it out firsthand? Theory 2. Hallucinatory agents. Maybe tinnitus has its own homebrew chemical cocktail designed to pair with their music for some whole experience. To be honest, I don't think I want to know. Because if number 2 is true, then I'll be risking a drug-induced nervous cyst meltdown for the sake of music science journalism. That really worth it, Chooms? Jesus, guys, music doesn't need to be this complicated. That is interesting. I wonder if there's, like, a, um, you know, a way for music specifically designed with people with, designed for people with specific cyber implants, you know? So I did pick up a gun called Fenrir. Right? this. Is this any good? Doesn't seem better than the Defender. So let's see what mods I can put on. Non-lethal. Yeah, okay. Man, that hat is dumb. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I can put, um... I can put stuff on my new uh, cyber deck. So let's put ping on there. Let's put short circuit on there. Um, ooh, contagion. I didn't even know I had this. That's sweet. So this will let us do a little bit more uh, spellcastery stuff. 
And then, you know, I'm willing to try out Whistle just in case there isn't something around I can use to uh, do distract enemies. That is more armor, but it's not a ton more. And the mods on this are just crazy good. And we did get some points, so why don't we do a little bit more intelligence so that we can get those um, cyberdeck things, or the, the cerebral cortex things? I think I'm interested in checking that out. And now we have two perk points, and I want to get my damage a little bit better. Quick melee attacks, I don't really care about that. Alright, deal 25% more damage, reduces time to aim down sight, increases crit chance when firing from behind cover. That seems fine. Level of the related attributes. So we still have a ways to go on that. But we can increase our damage quite a bit. Weapon sway is nullified. That seems crazy good. But yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this. That seems good to me. Oh, is there another one in here? <laughs> well, I'm going to kill you. And we already pissed the monks off, so there's no need to do non-lethal takedowns at this point. Uh, let's see. Nothing interesting around. But he did mention that sweet care. I wonder if it's just the Fenrir. Because that thing didn't seem that good. Sure, why not? Free experience. Yeah, I mean, that's all I got. Anything interesting on here? Nope. Okay, let's see what else is around. Ah, thievery. Let's go do it. And I do need to hit a drop point pretty soon. We'll go back past the monks. I wonder if they'll have anything new to say. Or if he'll be mad at me for killing all those people. After he specifically asked me not to. But here's the thing. I can't help my murderous impulses. I just can't. And listen. If some people kidnap you and replace your body parts against your will, uh, you should want them dead. I understand where he's coming from. Did you find my brother? I did. Of course I found him. He's safe and sound. Just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. Well, good. You're welcome, Biku. All right, so what are we going to find over here? Nice that there's a fast travel point nearby. I may want to take advantage of that. What's up, Regina? Hey, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. All right. I wonder if I got to be sneaky for this. 
All right, my good friend, the televangelist Bryce Stone, don't ask, it's complicated, needs our help. His little boy was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days later. The NCPD dropped the case due to lack of evidence. Bryce decided to take matters in his own hands and found the BD scroll of his murder, but the virtue is heavily edited, meaning there aren't a lot of clues to go on. If you get your hands on the raw cut, there's a chance we could identify the murderer. The virtue was put out by two XPD tuners, Gottfried and Frederick, in Northside. I'm betting they still have the original somewhere, just watch out for the maelstromers that are guarding them. Okay. So let's see if I can hit him with a contagion. First, let's breach protocol. Um, 1C. Yeah, so let's go... 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, five, 1C, five, 5-5. Five. All right. That'll shut down all their cameras for a little bit. And now I want to try out my contagion. That does do a decent bit of damage, but it's not that much. Is he looking for me? You're here. I know you are. He is. All right, so let's see if he comes around the back. Come on out, you little chicken shit! Yep. I should have probably tagged him while I was doing all of this. Um, and let's try a short circuit. Or did I not get it? There we go. Can't hide. You know that. Yeah, I mean that softens them up quite a bit. Let's just contagion again. That is actually pretty sweet, honestly. And with all our extra base RAM, um, we can do a lot of stuff. Let's check out in here. Kind of Rammstein-y, I dig it. Ping that. That was a whole bunch of stuff. They just have the best taste in music, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I? Yeah, the only thing about ping is it's a little annoying how quickly it wears off. One more she drowns. All right, so let's contagion them. And then we'll go hide. Body identified. Oh, it must be the guys in the front. I guess I should have hid them in the dumpster. Ah, uh, and there's a camera. So we'll get rid of that. I just turned you off, didn't I? Weird. Okay. See if we can distract him. Gotta get rid of this one too. 
Yeah, I thought the uh, demon where it would deactivate all of them would be more uh, useful, but it ends up that you have to, like, manually turn them all off anyway. Alright. So he's looking this way now. Um, let's ping again. And he is right there. You can't hide forever. So what can I do? Yep, let's go distract. I think we're You're still good. Here. All right, I guess we'll just go the other way. You can't hide forever! Let's give him a... Uh, you know what? I think if I distract... Oh! Oh! Ah, shit. <laughs> well, time to shoot everybody in the face. I need to turn this off for sure. And now it looks like there's one around back. So why don't we go deal with that? Because it looks like I can get around behind him this way. Maybe not. <laughs> you know what? I want I want a cantana this. I'm hearing a million things seeing me. Okay. Let's turn that off. Turn you off. Whew, that was scary. But I want to keep using my katana, even though uh, it's certainly much more dangerous on hard. Cut right there. All right, what do we got here? Right before he gets, what do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. What, what, what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. 
We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. That's your little you family business? A little family just... affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you, you want to see something really hard for Freddy. We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. I don't think I like these guys. Like, he said something with, uh, kids? So, uh... Drops, okay? they deliver, we you're gonna die. That's it. Freddy, no! Freddy! Frederick! And you too. Because if they're selling things that... Yeah, let's take a read on this. Just see how awful these guys are. Godfred, do what you want. Lenny, I will. I quit. Godfred, one more time. Do what you want. Do you need my permission or my advice? Lenny, sorry I couldn't answer. You're taking things way too far. What you're doing is insane and dragging your son into it. I mean, that's just fucking sick. This can only end badly. Godfred, now you've got Eddie's. Hope you can afford that guilty conscience of yours. Lenny, Gotti, at least leave Frederick out of this seriously. Godfred, worry about yourself, Lenny. Yeah. Ordinarily, I don't usually kill, like, story people, but... Animals, humans, bodies, humiliation, public, old, young, forced death. Yeah, these guys needed to die. I'm not sorry. Yo, yo, Choom, heard you had some minor hiccups with the new BD security features. Freddy mentioned something about not being able to reach the olfactory layer. Here's the dealio. The features were included in a new update for Arasaka Tech. I'll need a pro to bypass the protocols, and it just turns out, uh, and it just turns out I know just the guy. Hal Kantos, give him a call. He'll know what to do. BD gear. Hey, I need some new gear for tuning BDs. Got anything you'd recommend, just as long as it's a reasonable price. Yeah, okay. Well, that was pretty disturbing. But, um... Oh, there's going to be a fight on the way out, too, huh? Okay. Well, let's make sure we're reloaded. Get ourselves ready for that. Junk, little money. Flash bolt, flash bolt. We'll deal with that guy in a sec. Let's take a read of this. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the fourth corporate war began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. Both companies vied for control for the controlling stake of the failing EHA Corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in return, signed a corporate a cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the fourth war had officially begun. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables a Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement and reached an understanding through peace talks, tension between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. The separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. 
Uh, Arasaka and Militech Netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to make strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare fought with the cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries denoted a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Shortly after the blast... Boeing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. That is interesting. I do like knowing the backstory. Okay, so it sounds like I've got one guy to deal with. And if there's one guy, I like to give him the katana. Oh, there is not one guy. Okay. Wow, that was really close. Okay. There are, in fact, several guys. No, I don't ever run out of ammo. I craft it all. I made it all myself. All right, and I feel like there was another still. Yep. Nice. Okay, anything else? A little more street cred, that is good. Because I do eventually uh, want to hit max street cred. Let's go ahead and finish this up by getting out of here. And I believe I've got a couple perk points to use now. Is that not true? Nope, it's absolutely not true. Okay. It gave me the open perks prompt, but let's go ahead and deposit the recording quick. And here is a car I can use if I want to. But since there's a drop point and I want to sell a bunch of stuff anyway, um, we'll go ahead and get that done right now. All right, so before we do this, we just want to check our loadout and make sure we don't have anything new that we want to use. Seems unlikely anything's going to be better than this defender. Yep. And then I haven't been loving the shotgun, but I did pick up a sniper rifle that I wanted to try out. Yeah, this one. I mean, it's just a common, but I haven't really had occasion to use the shotgun, except for running out of ammo, and I feel like the sniper rifle will be useful at even greater distances, and I'm kind of more interested in keeping greater distances with this uh, difficulty level. I mean, like, I could do a, uh, like a better shotgun, but it just hasn't really been interesting to me, so I think we're just going to go ahead and put on the sniper rifle. And then let's just double check our uh, stuff here. Ooh, this one's uh, a little bit better, and it probably looks a little cooler. Tactical baklava. 
that's actually like even more goofy, but I'm like fine with it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And what else do we got here? Ooh, broken tech gogs. Those are a little bit more. And this one's 19.3. Uh, the info visor seems pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, anything better here? Ooh, 60? Eight block damage reduction is sweet, though. And it reduces my uh, stamina consumption. So I think it's still better. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, these are all garbage. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Let's uh, drop the thing. And it's Regina. What's up, Regina? Great work, B. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Yeah, that was pretty nightmarish stuff. So let's go ahead and sell all of our crap here. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to keep the iconic. Yeah, definitely. That must be what it was. But it's... I mean, all the, the burn stuff is pretty cool, and I can probably upgrade it. But I still think I'm going to hold off for a little while on doing that until I feel like I really need to. And I still kind of like this epic. So I think I'll hold on to it for now. All right, and then let's... Get rid of, like, basically all of this stuff. Um, yeah, the Epic Tonto is the one I want to hang on to. Because it's actually, like, even more damage than my uh, Katana. But I feel like it'll be shorter, but maybe I'll try it out soon. That is just such a huge amount of DPS. My god. I wonder if I can upgrade the Scalpel. Yeah, I mean, 585, that's just insane, right? Yeah, we'll get rid of all these baseball bats. Bleeding chance in a melee slot, eh. Whatever. Yeah, we'll hang on to Tonto, and we'll hang on to this crowbar. We can get rid of this. And we got a bunch of stuff to sell here. Um, I'm wearing that. Yep, all this stuff can get out. Okay. And let's sell our junk. 3,000, definitely. And we already have, like, almost all of our money back, so that's pretty sweet. All right, so what else can we find in our immediate surroundings? Buy the vehicle for 39000 We didn't get quite enough for that, unfortunately. So I suppose we'll head over to this reported crime. 
But we have almost enough to buy a vehicle. I wonder if I can swim across this. It doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> that water doesn't look particularly inviting. So we'll go ahead and uh, head over to this unknown. And we just need a few thousand dollars to buy a car, and then we'll be able to speed this stuff up pretty quick. So what do we got here? All right. Yeah, not exactly clear. Ooh, they're scavs. Alright, let's give him a ping. And... I wonder if there's a good way to uh, get this guy. Give him the old distract. Huh? Yep, I hate scavs. So we'll go and pitch this guy elsewhere. Here looks like a good spot. <laughs> I do love that while I'm doing this, there are, like, ordinary citizens walking around. Yep, we'll take this one out. And then there's this guy up top that I kind of want to get. What was that? I didn't even realize I had my sniper rifle. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't mean to climb up here, but that's pretty fun. And yeah, it looks like I just got to uh, find the evidence. So, where could that be? Probably that. Alright, well, give me the prompts to read those. Here we go. Crank, yo, which container is it? Lance, how the fuck should I know? Thought the plan was to get that intel out of the tiger. Crank, yeah, well, plan went tits up. Gonk attacked, had to put him down. So you got no idea? No, I already gave you everything I had from that contract, but the stuff should be there. Just look around. Yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> Pretty amateurish. Okay. Well, we got a couple thousand for that. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can find in here. Doesn't really look that way. All right. Um, did I not complete this? Uh, find the right container. Okay. Here we go. Oh, sick. Oh, 
All right, so what do we get for this? Thought there was a shard. Yep, there it is. Details. So when you get there, mark the right container with TCX. That's the agreement with Revere CS. But be careful around there. It's easy to catch a shiv in the ribs. Kawahara. Okay. Well, we can check out what we just got a little bit later. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, why don't we do the Undiscovered this way? And with that uh, marked on our map, I think we're going to call it an episode here. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.